Peter Loshak, this is our uh, NFL Experts Roundtable for Week 9 in the NFL. We are joined once again by Scott Kellen of SixthSenseSports.com, SBR contributor John Ryan of JohnRyanSports.com, and professional NFL handicapper Vanessa Walsh. Thanks, everyone, for being here once again. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, John, one of the games that you wanted to talk about is Miami at the Giants. Now, uh, I'm not sure what it is that, that you're seeing here that you like. The Giants are off of a bye, uh, but they're a 10-point home favorite. Miami's just not doing that well. Their defense isn't doing that well. They're not running the ball well. Uh, so I can't see, you know, justify making a play on them, but, you know, making a play on the Giants as a 10-point favorite. What do you like in this game? So I, I think Miami doesn't have much to play for here. They're coming into the, the weekend. Uh, up here in the Northeast, uh, the Giants have everything to play for. And, uh, you know, 10 points just seems like a lot, but I think at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be a 17, 18 point game, if not more. Hmm. Uh, this just has blowout written uh, on it, in my opinion, based on my 18 years of being around this kind of stuff. Hmm. And I think the Giants will win big. I also have a little angle here, too, that Miami's 0 and 6 after scoring 17 points or less in two straight games over the last two seasons. So it's not a big sample size, but it also reflects what Miami has been the last two two seasons. So I, I, I look for the Giants to win this very easily. Scott Kellen, what do you think? Do you endorse a, a play on any side? Have any kind of lean on this line? Uh, no, I mean, it, it's Miami. So, you know, for me, it's like run to another game. But, I, I you know, I will say from what I look at, uh, Miami does qualify. They're a winless team. So these winless teams, when you get – to week six and beyond when they're dogs. Uh, there's some other stuff to that as well, but they're essentially play on teams because in theory they're getting some value here. They're desperate for a win, uh, and so they're getting big, big numbers typically from a dog standpoint, and they're going to cover the line. Now, the situation they qualify in is actually 0-4 this year, uh, so it's not actually doing that well. They also qualify in a fundamental rushing situation of mine. They don't qualify in the best part of that, uh, but from, from that standpoint, you've got a, uh, just a general trend on them. Uh, you've got a fundamental uh, situation applies to them. I make the number about eight in this game. So all that applies to Miami. But there's no way I can play Miami. I mean, they were, they were terrible at the Jets a few weeks ago. I, it's going to be the same venue, so at least they'll be used to the venue. But um, they let me down at San Diego uh, a, a few weeks ago as well. Um, I, I just can't play them, but I don't have anything to support the Giants. I could easily see the Giants blowing them out. But the numbers I make actually support Miami. The situation support them but there's no way I can play him. So that, for me, that's just being past the game. Yeah, that makes sense to me. It seems like a big pass to me. Vanessa Walsh, what do you think about this game? Uh, basically, this game would be something I would personally like to stay away from, yeah. uh, just basically because of J.P. Losman. He's going to probably be their quarterback since Matt Moore's injured. So um, that's something I don't necessarily have a professional opinion on at this right. time. I hear you. I hear you. Seems like a stay off game, an obvious stay off line to me.